anyway. Did you have to ask a young person? No, no, I am a young person. So <laughs> state of mind. State of mind. <laughs> right, I am so, a young uh, person. Quick. The 30s Rock Podcast. Uh, Cass, let me get you. You already know that my shit will sound good. If it don't, I'm going to be angry. This <laughs> <laughs> not relevant to nothing. We've never even talked politics yet. Ever. Ever. I have no clue. <laughs> uh, while we're on the subject of, of TikTok and old people learning this shit, uh, can someone help me change my icon? Me and Nedra feel so left out right now with all these cool ass icons, and we still have the um, the pan shaped oh, or yes. smoke control, as you guys say. I thought it was. I thought I always thought it was uh, like a yeah. No, I thought it was Mario Brothers clothes. That's what I always thought it was. Oh, the back of his pants. Like yeah, you, you gotta go to settings. That bottom right icon, and then when you click it at the very top, you can tap it, and it'll give you an option to edit your picture. So you said settings, and then I don't even settings. know where that is. Okay, now I see the butt. I mean, the uh, remote control. Far right, it's an edit button, a little pencil. Edit button. Select. Oh, boom. See, that oh, was you guys, easy. This is, I just figured it out. Here's the learning curve. And this learning curve comes with everything. Like, you experience it professionally. You know, when these new people are learning new trends and they come into, you know, the workplace, we experience them with devices. Like at this age, I literally, when I get a new phone, I have to say Sydney. Learning a new phone, yeah, every time. Yeah, like Sydney, how do, how do I do this? Like we have a lot of learning curves. Like my grandma has learning curves out of this world, but she just like quit. Like fuck it, she's not going to do it at all. <laughs> at all. Like, oh, she, can you transfer this money for me? I'm like, I just taught you last month. I taught you last year, but she does not want to learn it. But I realized something with my grandma. She's seventy something. She don't have to. As a young and a youngin, then was right. it, was it the goal to try and and keep up, if you will, with the newer things? Oh, this just dropped. I have to learn it now. And then at a certain point, you just say, you know what? I don't care that that new yeah. thing. Just like, dropped. fuck it. I'm not going to learn it. Fuck it. Another is that, app. Is that what it That's is? That's how I feel about point? the new game. Is content. that what's happening? Yeah. Yeah, it's yeah. like another app. Well, it's like yeah, fucking yeah. another app. <laughs> That's not fair, Rock, because we're like, we want one, and we're, they're just none. So we're like, well, fuck it. We don't want one. <laughs> <laughs> and you want to know what and I, I don't want to anyway. I got a question for the team. What number from one to 10 is spelled Four. in alphabetical order? Who said that? I, I, no, no, it's too late. I, I, I believe it. Rashida was late to the next party. <laughs> You've destroyed your validity. Ooh. Validity. There we go. Ooh, I don't know what word. I, hey, y'all should. Oh validity. Nedra, Val Nedra, Nedra, yo, Nedra, Nedra hit me with this one the other day. Oh my gosh. She said, "Oh my gosh, I don't even know if I can say it." That that shit was so. I don't, know, I don't know what it's called, but it's a thing where your your mind mixes up the first word of the word. So I was trying to say Samuel L. Jackson, and my mind had other plans, and it said Jamiel L. Saxon <laughs> instead. Oh, I, oh that I was know. great! That was great. My brain for a couple seconds because I couldn't. That's a good thing. Dyslexia. That's, yeah, good... that's fun. That's fun. Great atheist, Jamiel yeah. Samson. L. Saxon. Samuel. I'm dyslexic Jackson. as hell when it comes to numbers at point. Go back when I was a kid trying to be a cashier and then try to give them back their damn change or tell them the total. Man. That is, so yeah. If, not you're, a... if you're working in that environment for I, several you know, hours you know, and you're doing that for customer after customer, I've slipped up several times and uh, and customer, they're quick, obviously, because they're watching like a hawk, right? They're wanting to see what, what number, you know what I'm saying? What's the price? Is it right? I calculated 50 times before I came up here. I got money in my hand. I'm counting out pennies. Whatever it is, they're ready. <laughs> I, I, had, I really am I trying to have, rob you right like, now. Damn it. I don't know. I thought it would work. <laughs> and, and one, well played, well, yeah, sir. Swear, well played. You got me. Right and, and in one week, man, I swear I had about three different cashiers give me too much money. Like too much. 20s worth of too much money. I was like, yo, I think you uh, maybe calculated that a little bit wrong. <laughs> bro, listen, man. I, I'm telling you, in like Sims, man, it. in Sims, in life, we oh, play Sims. I gave Sims, it back. I, I gave it back every time. I gave it back karma. every time, man. Because I, I mean, I don't believe in curse money. You building up that good stuff, man. You building up that good stuff. So, I, don't, I will never take it. Maybe man. that's the opportunity that you're granted for dealing in cash. I mean, like hey, mm, mm, that's true. <laughs> hey, 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 I'm like, like in the I'm old days. Right, I'm why you, I would why say, can I play the devil's advocate real quick? Way. I mean, all right, they messed up and they gave you more money. All right, 
that company ain't suffering. I mean, unless it's some small business. Unless it's a small business. If it's, if it's like some big ass corporation, like some asshole at Target gave you an extra twenty, that ain't hurting for that yeah. twenty. <laughs> now, it was a truck stop. Even worse, you know how they're fucking getting over. All right, all I mean, if it's something small like that, yeah, I'd feel I mean, bad. Yeah. You know what I mean? But like, all right, if it's some big ass store, I'm like, oh fuck, they're lost. Yeah, but you're neglecting the fact too that that some. No, it was a big ass store. It's, it's a big ass store. For the cat <laughs> but, yeah, and that's the other side of it. Like, they, you 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 literally just gave me an extra 20, 20 bucks. You know what I'm saying? So that they're you're gonna count that drawer down tonight. And I mean, if they wanted to go a little bit further, they can look at the camera. But I, even even bigger than that, I look at it, you know, more so spiritual. Not to be too deep, but I, I look at it spiritual. Much, though, a lot of those, yeah. a lot of the big companies and stuff like that, when it comes to cashiering, they expect a potential loss. So your drawer is short. Six hundred dollars today. So, you know what you did wrong, right? You're like, yeah, and all of a sudden you start seeing your hours get a little shorter, and then you off carry the cashier line for some reason, oh, yeah, and they yeah. put you in the back when the, you're moving crates. You're like, what the fuck? <laughs> what happened? <laughs> hey, yeah, hey, just like you <laughs> mismanaged that drawer, I mismanaged your hours. Later. <laughs> weeks later, you're looking around like I'm in the back. What the what? The, I'm nowhere near money now. Oh, Damn, man. I was the cashier. <laughs> like, why does he keep making me? Right now? Well, the hot dogs, right? Yeah, I don't I'm even want to make drawer. these fucking hot dogs. <laughs> Flipping hot dogs. Why are we exactly. doing? Why the fuck are we flipping hot dogs in the first place? We have the wrong way. We working at the wrong. Yeah, you know, store. The, you know the conveyor, the conveyors. You know how they put the hot dogs on the conveyor with the oh, chititas and uh, you know all that oh, nasty nah, shit that you shouldn't be eating. That's that like everybody's looking at and touching. That's not like a check. No, no, this is uh, you know the. the the truck stop, the hot dog. You know, you, oh, you, you know. ever had a like, man? Yo, no, on the real. Quick I trip, had, dog. Yeah, I like had, quick trip. I had, I had Wawa's. I was at Wawa's, and this lady got so fucking mad at me. Okay, Wawa's is basically like uh, Wawa's is like Quick Trip, which is like a you know really nice uh convenience store. But it's on. I mean, you go to Wawa's, like you go to Quick Trip, you could probably get like a you know lunch or a snack, right? You go to Wawa's, you can get dinner and breakfast for the next morning. Like it's 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 something else. Anyways, I questioned the fruit that she had in the fruit section because it looked bad. And the last time I ended up with some bad fruit and she straight got, I mean, she acted like I offended her pride. I grew this stuff. goddamn fruit. Yeah, what she didn't know is that they require them to go to the farm themselves personally. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> plant, groom, and pick it, okay? And you <laughs> completely disrespected her process. I, I mean, I mean, I, talk I, shit know about my right. fruit. My family sewage fertilized this fruit. Oh, Listen here. No. <laughs> <laughs> we home grew this. She said, Fuck you. I'm Guys, trying to help this, you, this, motherfucker. This, this, <laughs> Oddly enough, that that same Wawa was was putting out um, half done pastries, so I had the pleasant surprise of having melted dough in the middle. It was disgusting. Yeah, I don't want to bite into a, a cinnamon roll that on the inside. Is, yeah, oh yeah, y'all don't have. She was too busy in the farm. She didn't have an opportunity to get back in time to take it out. That's you mean the cinnamon rolls out. that come out of the thing aren't ready to eat? <laughs> no, nope. right. she, she, she just true. got yelled at from her boss and said, "If we have one oh, more a good complaint, point. that is a good fucking point. Here, you're fired." And you walked up and said, "This fruit is shit." And she was like, "Oh god, here we go." <laughs> oh my god, yeah, that's right. Bye. I was that, time. I'm, I'm, out of here. <laughs> I'm out of here. Yeah, so I mean, it, but you that's know, sucks, you, you know, it's really irritating when you when you go to the store and you grab some fruit, right? And you fucking take that fruit to the front, and there's nobody at the front. So you got to use that automatic shit. You got you to go to use the little, what is it, the, the kiosk? You know what I mean? And you go oh, over yeah. there and your, yeah. fruit, your fruit does not have a fucking sticker on it. Right? You know what I do? Google vegetable. what no, the no. code I go to, is. Google no, no. Nope. I go to the cheapest vegetable in their option and I pick that shit. How about one blueberry? <laughs> like, how, the fuck, how the fuck you got a pound of one blueberry? This ain't making sense. <laughs> I need a cashier. I only oh, well, have blueberry. one blueberry. Oh my gosh. Uh, why is there no one here? That's, That's it, it's not my fault. Hey, look, look, you left it up to me to choose. And when I chose, you had no means. Yeah. Of of you made me the fuck well, cashier. You made me the yeah. cashier. So guess what? Y'all ever listen yes. to Bill Bill Burr? His stand up, hilarious yeah, shit. He, he does a whole yeah. bit on that. He does a whole bit on that. His damn automatic self checkout thing. He's like, little did I know, I work here. Okay. He's like, yeah. I went up front. I brought my stuff up. Stood there for a few exactly. minutes. Nobody checked me out. I walked out the door. They're like, what are you doing? I was like, well, I did my part. There was nobody here to do yours. Oh, fuck that's you. fucked up. <laughs> oh, that's great. Matter of fact, I actually get an employee discount. 
<laughs> that was my employee discount. Well, yeah, because because think about this, man. Like like that same kiosk, right? Like that shit irritates me. And I've I've worked at I've worked several different places over over you know over the years, and worked with several different user interfaces. If I'm walking up to that motherfucker, like. Mm, then put you almost earlier. don't even want to buy fruit when yeah, you I go in there. Lie. I kind exactly. of want a couple of things here and there. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's like, oh, <laughs> you can please take that out of your bag. When we first started going to self check in or check out, I was like rebelling, like sticking it to the man. So I was intentionally like fucking up at the register to make the girl keep coming oh back. Oh my like, gosh. You gotta, you gotta yeah. ring me up. And then I realized like, wait a minute. They're oh, intentional. I didn't want that thing and I can't, I can't remove it. I need to Yeah, like, it. cause in the beginning they're like, man, just come over here. I'll ring you up or something. Now, <laughs> and I'll do my job, you know? Now, now they fixed it. You're they just take everybody out of the store and put more yeah. machines up. <laughs> yeah, I went in one store in Texas and there was not one cashier in there. Not Which, one. Man, not even at the cigarette like place. I'm like, damn, this is crazy. If I'm not mistaken, there was a video that we watched in class that talked about how one day shopping would be so different that it would be all automated with machines and we'd be on rails that would just cart us through the aisles and we'd just pick up shit and then just get wrung out and out the door. Like, no one would be there. Yeah, be one boring. day in the future. That was funny. Oh, gosh. Yeah, one day. Yeah, yeah. Amazon is <laughs> working on that now. So. Oh, no, that's not in the future. We'll all be caught on total we're, we're there, brother. Exactly. Yeah, that's exactly yeah, yeah, what no. it felt like. <laughs> it's it's like, are we there? Yeah, right now. Yeah, no, we're there. We're there. Yeah, Amazon, well, is, Amazon is working on that right now. Yeah, yeah they're, they're open. You just oh. pull the you pull the shit off the screen. I mean, you pull it off of the shelf, and it automatically charges you because there's a, uh, uh, a QF scanner that's scanning the... Uh, the, the item as you're pulling it off of the shelf. I say we give us, we give access to this shit to Elon Musk. We give him more access to a lot of this shit. <laughs> True. Jesus. Why? So, and then, so, hey, so and we, and then we won't even, the space? and then <laughs> we won't even go to the fucking store. We won't even go to the store. Just at that point. Like, yo, all right, Elon, all the shit's Elon gonna come to the house. think of a new store. Think of like a new way to do a grocery store. Just give him like fucking a week and have come He'd back be like yeah just... sure spacex guys will yeah. airdrop it go ahead anybody put an order with we'll airdrop missiles straight to <laughs> oh your front God. door right through go the ahead, chimney right, right. send them back up oh fuck there's the idea oh you sound like your voice is breaking right there. there so our idea for whatever the fuck we was just talking about oh yeah kind of everybody's voice has been breaking up to me but y'all heard the point. I mean, Steve Jobs, you know, so that we need to use LSD so we can come up with <laughs> great idea. It's a point. Like, well, like, like, uh, like me, me and Nedra saw this thing. It was like the the guy who invented the walkie-talkie. Like, what if he named shit? You know what I mean? Like walkie-talkie. Okay, that's one of those. And it was like, what about socks? Brian Regan. Yeah, you see, yeah, yeah. Sock fucking feedy heaties, man. Feedy heaties, so, man. Feedy heaties. Maybe he would call maybe a microwave would be a cooker looker. Yes, yes, you get it, you get it, you get it. <laughs> okay. I think whoever walkie talkie was talking to his toddler at the point. Like, no, it's a walkie talkie, you and know. Me, and here's a here's help. a fork. No, 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 no. That's a stabby grab. Grabby stabby. You gotta grab it, then stab it. Yes. I'm fucking tired of saying portable radio. <laughs> <laughs> grab My what? kid can't say portable radio. But he can no, say this walkie talkie. Is a that what I'm listening to, that's the radio. <laughs> Hell talk boxes, but I'm actually words. walking yeah. while talking. <laughs> more like a walkie talkie. You guys know that this guy named Donald Hinge he yeah. made walkie talkie for work, but the military in World War II changed it into slang walkie talkie. He didn't create the term walkie talkie. That kind of makes sense. Yeah, the that, military that makes like, sense. This stupid thing is it? Oh, it's a walkie-talkie, man. Just take it, bro. You know, yes, he's, yes, he's yes. That's talking. that's how they name shit. Am, am I wrong, Dan? Is, they're never on the nose, man. On the nose names. Real, just you shot up phone. I guess phoning for maybe vocals, but like phone guess, for you know, you know, you know what they call you know what they called our phone. phone. They called our phone sound power phone. That's what they called it. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm you not lying to you. Everything was on the nose because what? you have scuttlebutt for water fountains. I, I mean, well, you know, they gotta confuse you a little bit. And then blame I mean, it on the cold. What? Yes. That's oh yes. Oh my bad. We we kind of think we went too far too fast. So yeah. So uh, scuttlebutt. A scuttlebutt is indeed a fucking water fountain. Now, oh, I can understand that. Scuttle your butt over. Because the, the water is scuttling out of the. Scuttle there and scuttle back. <laughs> like 
Like, and then, and then, and then instead of, wow. like, instead of saying wall, bokeh. You know what I'm saying? So, like, so, like, if you, if, you, if it's your first day on the ship, yes, you get told. Yes, because yeah, we still go, use the word bokeh. We still use the term bokeh with trucking. But imagine this. It's a wall you, inside of a trailer. If you're 18 years yep. old, you just got out of boot camp, and they what told you to go take the bucket next to oh, the scuttle butt by the bulkhead, you're not going to know where the fuck to go. You're yeah, going to be what, confused. Though. Yeah, that sound like gibberish, the last part of that saying. I'll be real, because now I feel young in this, in the, or stupid. I don't know what I feel now, actually. Either I didn't know, or I'm young to know. So, yeah, yeah. yeah either or. Scuttle uh, butt? Welcome to the Navy. Boca? Boca is from I, I, I got a question for you guys. He oh, just I'm gave sorry. me instructions, and all of a sudden, it's... I'm wiping my ass in the bathroom. What's going on? <laughs> exactly. Uh, yeah, exactly. How did I end up here? Why am I sitting down in this place? What's oh happening? Oh, my gosh. Now, whoa. Well, you like... said Boca? What is Boca? Oh, oh, bo Bulkhead. Bulkhead. Yeah. Bulkhead. Bulk scuttlebutt. Yeah, scuttlebutt, Bulkhead. Oh, my gosh. Don't need Fucking... Vending machine yeah, it's like a partition, it's easy, right? It's a wall. They didn't want to call it vending machine. Gee dunk. Explain that gee bullshit. Dunk. Yeah. Gee dunk. It didn't catch. Say it again. Gee dunk. Gee dunk. Gee dunk. Gee dunk. For, gee dunk. for a vending machine. And they would just try to push it on you too. Yeah, go out there and get you some gee dunk. I'm like no, you too. Ooh, you too. I think my for favorite that. term to come out of the navy was the hot seat. I think. What's that? Uh, because of the the it was a reserved toilet seat. In the bathroom for people who had STDs, so it's painted red. Oh yeah, that's weird. Oh well, that just shit! Makes sense. But it makes sense. Uh, 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 that, but that's oh, like no, that's you like, should paint it white if you have a disease. You got no, an STD. Hey, fuck you it, fuck make it. Sure hey, 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 you know what? Get right stop, to the right? point and just hang shame on the door. For caution, <laughs> right? Red caution. I mean, everybody had their shit together, so it was like uh, a bench of toilet or of toilets, right? So you you had to separate them somehow. So you painted the two on the end red, and then the people behind you and beside you knew. I guess that's unfortunate. I mean, I, 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 well, Daniel, crab Daniel crab I just want to say that they did over there to that. You're right, Daniel. Right. Daniel, <laughs> Daniel, you're right. They didn't have their shit together. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> that's, that's... What happened to the whole? Do people still do the the on the toilet seat like those covers that are like fluffy and stuff? Like a that shit is so stupid. What did that happen to... for a, a point? Oh, oh yeah. yeah. I was going into houses and they just all had that like the a, a covering on the lid and then like this weird carpet. grandma <laughs> like carpet on the the lid. That's Richard and Raheem's grandma right there. That's my yes, grandma. Absolutely. Uh, my grandma's in there as yes. well. Oh, wait, okay, okay, wait, wait. Are y'all talking about me. the toilet seat? Like the toilet like, seat hey, paper? No, they're talking no. about the cover on top of it. What's wrong with the cover on top of it? I oh, know. it's what? just so it looks good. Like, yeah, that's it so... looks good. No, it's it's no it doesn't. I bet you have to turn around your toilet, your toilet paper rollers. Well, see, yeah. see, yeah. we would do that, but the toilet paper was actually carpet itself. <laughs> yeah, uh, you're white. <laughs> what, what, what is the obsession? Here? What okay, okay. So hold on. We have the ability to get carpet. We have to get it at one point. Yeah, yeah. It's like a lot of houses yeah. had it too. Like our whole house. Had Every fucking room. room. Oh, oh, that's and all like that. Like our home floors and marble. And yes. Tiles. We need some carpet on this fucking toilet. How many? How many of y'all have had a t-shirt bought from the gas station that turned yellow on you? Just a random ass question. I don't. I just thought about it. Cause I used to Bro, buy you know, everybody buy from the gas station. What's happening right, right? now, bro? Yeah, listen, listen. Are, listen. You you you're, you're, are you shopping at Wawa? Bro, listen. <laughs> look, look. The gas station. <laughs> the gas breakfast? station around the corner from us. They used to sell <laughs> cigarettes. <laughs> one at a time. He likes the gas station. <laughs> They used to sell cigarettes Walmart one at a time. You know what I mean? The Walmart, the Walmart, the gas stations. They had Gucci bags. All in one, my friend. All in one. Come in. You know it, right? Motherfucker, yeah, Gucci bag came with incense <laughs> for $5. <laughs> is, Wa is Wawa... Oh, oh, shit. Is Wawa owned by Walmart? No. no. Mm. Part of Walmart. Does it have a laundromat so. attached? Did you? Yeah. No, nah, why would I like people? Is that too why much? your shirt's turning yellow? Damn. No, nah, bro. It's, yeah, the I, it, I have no idea. It's like it's like you get. Yeah, the shirt I mean, yellow. you know, at the gas station, the white shirt yellow. Yeah. Yeah. May, may, maybe I should have looked at the label. It was like, oh yeah, this this the white and the yellow. No, no, Rakim, you missed the mark. You were at the gas. Yeah, the station, white shirt so names you... yellow, and then the black ones turn gray. <laughs> why are you buying shirts there now? What's I mean, going on? I, you listen, I he's buying I... everything. Fruit, shirts. <laughs> Damn everything. right. Hey, I like cars, <laughs> TVs. I told you it's guys. Not not shop. Hey, hey, it was a, hey, it was a tall T thing. Man. It's a tall, look, I, I, I was a tall T dude for like two months. And then dude, I, and I then, bought this strong one time. 
when I was at Texaco. <laughs> oh no. It just flew directly to a neighbor's house. I had no control over it. I didn't know what was happening. I don't know what was it. What was it? Is that excitement, do you think? Is it still like there for younger generations to go to like Target and Walmart? Like with the no, just old people. And look at, is it just, it was just us and now that generation, that, that whole excitement's gone. It's like an annoyance to go there. What, what do you think? Yeah, I, I think everybody's you, annoyed by Walmart. Everybody's annoyed really? by Walmart. It used to be the shit. Like, no, I mean, I get, but I get what he's saying though, because I mean, time, dude, right? I remember. It used to be the shit. Yeah, right? Steve, I remember. Steve, I remember Blockbuster was a great trip to go to, man. I oh, fucking oh. love Blockbuster. Yeah. You it's know like what I'm GameStop, saying? man. The it's carpet like smell. Yeah. Let me feel old now, man. Because I used to work in the Blockbuster. The expensive Ooh, shit yeah, right, right in the nostalgia. Hit him in the nostalgia. Man. Oh shit. Hit him in the yeah. nostalgia. Oh, we got someone work that worked at a Blockbuster, dude. What was it like? Tell us, please. I worked please there at one us. point when they had tapes still, too. Man. Damn. I'm finna ask you about Damn. tapes. Yeah. Tapes. Do y'all remember I mean, it was tapes? In, they were transitioning yeah. out at that point, but tapes were still around. Yeah, man. and it was annoying as fuck, bro. Be kind, Brother, be tapes are still around. around. I got a, I got a VCR. Hey, man, mind, I have a VCR. I got tapes. In my mind, I heard you say you worked at the last Blockbuster. No, not last. That shit sound like a movie. <laughs> hey, hey, there is a blockbuster. I want to go, brother. Like that was an experience, man. You guys, for real. This is the I would sit over there in the little kids' corner say, it and watch me a the lot movie. About movie the kids and film and just that, some, you know, just just being a fan of movies and stuff. It was uh, it was it was nice for that. Stuff, yeah. You know? it, it, but it felt like it going to the job. to the movie theater, except not sitting to watch the movie, but to pick that movie up and go home to watch it, but still paying like yes dollars for the popcorn and the candy. Mm -hmm. It still felt like that. You know, you got like I, I, I think I'm free rentals a week. Dude, I, I think mean, I'm going to get a load. You got access to the new release is before they came out so you got to watch Thanks, before Blockbuster. everybody else this is like a 40 dollar trip i just got two movies we could all this, vote this with is the rent. most have efficient Dan just way. go pick it up and then he could just stream it here on on disco we'll all watch it oh yeah we'll all watch a yeah. lower quality who's going <laughs> hey Dan, v, i didn't like hours. tapes all right I'm, I'm sorry listen i did not like vhs tapes i know how y'all feel about it i don't give a damn yeah. i'm gonna tell you why i don't I like vhs i'm gonna tell you why I don't, i'm not a fan of them. big reasons right here we go here's the first one right chucky Chucky is one of them. That Rewinding. was had, that was had terrifying looking oh, yeah. uh, fucking yeah. boxes. So I, I was scary motherfucker. For some reason, somebody in our family would fucking buy Chucky all the time, and I would take those boxes and I would throw them in the fucking trash. Yep, I was I was the reason why tape boxes yeah. would disappear. I th if I don't like it, I'm, I rip it out, throw it away. It's gone now. Find yeah, the movie for yourself. I wonder why. Uh, we had to keep finding fucking Call cases for shit. There you go. Hey, now you know. Fine. Damn. That's one. And two. Stacking and two. up all these empty ass. This this was more personal. This was a little more personal, right? So, so, it's, it's, it's fucking Star Wars, all right? We had the box set to Star Wars, four, five, and six, right? That's still one of my favorite series. I did not watch it because I didn't know what the first three were. So that makes no oh, sense. You're, you're providing no real information as to why you hate VHS, just your personal experience and your uh, trauma of oh, Chucky. Oh, oh, my bad, my bad. Okay, yeah, then there's this here, uh, Yeah, right? you want to know why the you, fuck you I remember... hate VHS? You start trying watching the one maybe somebody else has watched a hundred times. You get from the fucking you know, video store, you get it home, and the fucking tracking is so bad because some asshole decided to, like, run a fucking magnet over it and just ruin the oh, goddamn so... tape oh, for my. you. So it's just all grainy and shit. There you go. That that's that's Spiteful what the fuck you hate about Jeez. goddamn VHS, man. Oh, well, I, I, my bad. I was gonna name name the the biggest yeah. and obvious one that Neil kept pointing out. When motherfuckers do not rewind it, and you put the Nobody tape in. Rewind. Oh my gosh! Nobody you put the tape in, and it's on the fucking climax of the movie. Stand there for throw in fucking mold. I had to do that. I had to do that. Go mm. through the fucking return, the drop no, box, dude. and everything. Open up the box. Oh, look at that. There's another one. Throw it in the rewinder. Let that sit for a minute. Just wait for the, you know, you just sit there and wait. <laughs> but, yeah, <laughs> okay, there it pops up. It's done. Okay, yep, here we go. I, I, I had to add one of those yeah. from the. I will put my kids on punishment and make them rewind all the tapes for me. Oh, my <laughs> gosh, man. <laughs> Hey, set the movie corral up for the next guest. You gonna rewind all eighty of these damn tapes? Man, what the fuck we got? <laughs> you remember this: the bad tracking, having to sit at literally either with your remote or on the actual VCR, and having to like twist and turn the shit to like Ooh, try to get the picture right. Mm -mm. 
Mm-hmm. You made me. You made me think of tapes. Uh, not tapes. You think maybe think of uh, TVs before we fucking had. When I shit had a tape flickering like remotes. crazy, and you're like, "What's going on with the screen?" Yeah. Like, hold on, you just twist something, and all of a sudden it's good. You're like, "No, nah, nah, I'm talking about the TVs okay. before remotes, like like fucking." Da, 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 you know what I'm talking oh, about? Were you changing the yeah, channel? Yeah, yeah. The turn knobs. Yes. Yeah, we're mm-hmm. okay, now we're on twenty. Now we're on twenty-one, <laughs> two, three. Click, 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 yeah, click, you, click, you can click, go all the way up to eighty-eight, motherfucker. Yeah, I think it. I've lasted for about twenty years before it had to be put down, though. Oh, compared to now, like, TVs nowadays. <laughs> yeah, we had to. That angry, like, but yeah, now everything is a shorter fucking show. Put it down. <laughs> Give it away. It true. won't die. You want it? Oh, it's gonna God. last another twenty years for sure. You know it will. <laughs> it's insane. I really don't want to yeah, listen to the sound of that TV while it's on and buzzing. Every time, like this shit's so loud. Bro, we I think our um, I think I, our old the, microwave had the same type of wood grain actually until it yeah. caught my mom's hair on fire, and then we had oh to put that down. That's shit. Whoa. I've always had whoa like some of that ridiculous. That's the reason hearing. to hate a VCR. That's why I hate a microwave. Wait, what? Why yeah. is your mom's hair caught on fire? You gotta, you know, you gotta put the microwave whoa. down the first time it bites you. All right. You have to step. How do we go to mom's hair? Remember, on fire? remember the old day when, you, when everybody told you don't sit in front of the microwave because it oh my god, brain, I know? still got a, I still oh, got a, yeah. mm-hmm. I still got a weird psychosis about that. Now I dry my beard. Everybody oh, does, right? You're like, I don't know if I should be doing this. You're like, no, you're fine. You're yeah, fine. You got, you got <laughs> radiation. That ass granddad had a pacemaker, and so they said something along the lines of it would mess that up. So we didn't really put mm-hmm. the microwave. Right. That ass. We just had toasters and shit. Damn. You know, burn the food on the oven. How else are you gonna get it hot? You know? <laughs> Damn. Like, but, I mean, the food pocket, tastes better uh-huh. that way. It's a hot pocket. I don't know how to cook this. Just All put right. it on top of the. You know, put it on the, the skillet. <laughs> yeah, put it on the skillet. I bring out the hot like. Put a little oil in that pan. Oh no! Two hand that mother pink. Fucking iron. A meal that should take two minutes. You gotta wait twenty you minutes for 20 a hot pocket. Minutes. It's not a hey, hot pocket. That in the middle, warm still pocket. freezing. Still fro. Hey, you better heat that mother. That's a warm. They no hot pocket. That's a warm pocket. Conventional heating. Hey, it's the only way it's gonna work. Warm, cold in the middle pocket. That's what this is. Yeah. Just flip it. Throw it in the oven. No, it still don't fucking work. Oh my gosh, nope, that didn't work. I want one. I want a wood burning stove, bro. Yo. That would be great. Yo, that'd be tell you this much, really? man. That, the area that, it, called your, a, like that grill, fucking room will stink like it, though, man. Mm. Yeah, just like a grill. Oh, yeah. No, they don't. They don't have an exhaust for it. <laughs> like, it it does, but it it's still you like you have to remember. I mean, it's still gonna be that smell. It that still smell. filters like back in. In your house. I mean, this. Well, what if you put hickory smoke in, like wood in it? Would it give you a smoky yeah. flavor? Or smoky? Your house, and I mean, yeah. it still smells a little like wood, but I mean, most of the smoke is sent outside. But I mean, you can. It, it is. It is easily. Distinct that, that that is wood burn stove smell. Yeah, yeah. Because you can't you can't uh, do nothing I'll about the rooms gassing. where you can just tell and it's like, oh yeah, this is. Yeah. I do yeah, remember the kerosene it. heaters though. Those gave oh, off the funky smell. Oh yes, they did. Yes, I remember that. My family that got burned was growing up with a kerosene heater. They would forget the uh, like iron rack around it is scalding hot. It's just a cage. And they would yeah. put their hands on it and just mm-hmm. burn the shit out of them. It was so inviting. Mm, I have one of the, I had experience like that with a car lighter. Ooh, yeah. I, I think now nah, I, I, I was visiting my my yo, aunt who's yo. who's you know up in like Michigan or something like that. You know what I mean? And she went into like some beauty parlor to I don't know get mm-hmm. something done, nails, hair, whatever the fuck. And I was just left to just chill in the, the van. And you know she had the fucking cigarette later. I just pushed it in for only a second or so, which I thought pull it out. It wasn't red hot, so I thought it's fine. Mm-hmm. Touched it. Yeah. Everybody's Singed had my that experience, fucking bro. Finger, man. Right. right. And then right. sat in the All car for over an hour. It burns for like a whole day. and just fucking throbbing. You know, yes. my finger throbbing, and I was scared to death to tell anybody because of the fact that I was like, I shouldn't have done that. Right. You you fuck knew you were supposed to touch it. With it in the first so place, right? You can't say shit. Yeah, you can't. <laughs> Oh my like, gosh, man! I was I was a kid, you know. So somebody finally oh, walked yeah. by and just saw this sad ass crying kid in this van. They're like, "Are you okay?" And they brought me in oh and took care God. of me. I was all fucking. They're like, "You wouldn't have been bad at you. Like, just now you know. Don't mess with it." Oh my gosh! Oh, man. Oh, fuck me. I thought I thought I burned the fingerprint off. Yeah, I do remember that. All shit. have done that. 
Dude, I'd be lying if I said I didn't get burned almost every time I cook something. Like, I, my dumb ass goes in there and get burned all the time. I wanted to fuck That's why. That's why you gotta burn yourself. Oh, it ain't even yet. You just gotta Let me burn check yourself it to see how. You like, I don't know why I have to check it. I don't know why you have to check it with your finger to see how hot it is. I don't know what the <laughs> fuck the idea of that is. Like, why do we have to check it with our finger? Get burned on Any sort of oil, like another object. Any sort of oil that you cook with, it don't fucking matter. My hand always is splashing. You sitting there trying to out, 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 motherfucker. You just sitting there just getting splashed. Every two seconds of that oil, nothing, That's nothing fun about that. Yeah. But you know what though? It, it's, it's, you know what though? It, to me, it builds character in the kitchen. You know what I'm saying? It's like, it's like, boom. You know, you know for, you know for certain that you're finna, you're like, like psychologically, you enjoy that food more. Evil laugh. That's funny. Builds character. I, I get what you're saying. That is Damn right. I moved to ban that phrase. Nobody has ever said it builds character and meant anything other than it sucks and I know it. I enjoy cooking in the kitchen. Really? And it does. No, I mean, it, I'm saying builds character. Like most of the time, I'm told if it builds character, that means it's because I've already been bitching about it. Well, it's probably it's probably because the person who was, <laughs> I don't know, I don't know. Maybe 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 because mostly assholes say it as a way to cope with the fact that they haven't dealt with the. Yeah, I'm going too deep on that, but you get what I'm getting at. Constant, constantly cooking. Fucking yeah. roll. <laughs> yeah, something every night. I hear you. I would say it could if you are if you make something good and you actually say yeah I cooked this and it isn't it, I, I did a good job is that not you don't feel good about that when you do a good oh, work? I, I absolutely like do right. man so I would say you could correlate that to a lot of things in life like if you make something and you can know you cannot yourself consume that would you consider what you just made good I feel like cooking I just my dead ass have to start cooking with Hello Fresh I'm telling Rock about this learning myself because I am dumb and idiot. The best thing I can make is cereal and ramen noodles. Like I'm a real. <laughs> so I was like, dude, I I'm gonna learn how to do this for a minute. But I can sit down and enjoy this, you know. I, yeah. I, I made this. It tastes good. Good job, me. And I feel like I can now move that. It, it burnt the fuck out of me. To a lot you of other cooking in my life. Burn time, you yeah. fucking <laughs> I love it so much, but it burns me so bad. Oh my god. It gosh, burns so yes. bad. It hurts so bad. He's, the only thing I got out of it. It's kitchen you know? love. I slaved for this kitchen shit, but it tastes wounds. good. You know? Yes. <laughs> Oh man, oh man! It's, it's like it's that, it's that twenty minute prep time. It took an hour and a half, but it tastes good. I'm it tastes. So that's that's the yeah. most important part. It's like it's like it yeah. like like it's a labor of love to yourself. You know what I mean? Like like you like like I feel like if you, uh, it's like a what do you call oh, it? Uh, self help. Oh, it, you know I'm saying it, taking mm. care of yourself is important. You know what I mean? It's, yeah, cooking can be a process, but yeah, it's at the end of the day, it's like I did that. Fuck yeah, Dang, bro! That's, like that's, that's always been a pride thing for me. I, I learned how to cook something. You know what I mean? I can make me, I can cook me up a whole fucking dish of something if, right. I, if I need to break out of that fucking and that's all designed to. and force yourself stubbornly to make yourself your yourself your own fucking food every now and then. You know, that would yeah. be the one way I'd say just to, if somebody's really unhealthy, I'd say to, to force yourself at least on a couple days a week to actually make your own meal. I mean, go buy your shit, whatever the, the other times, but make some time to do it differently and you'll start to see a difference in your fucking your your you know health your health it's all about approach you know sometimes a slow approach can be the smarter way to go but eventually it works out and you'll see the benefit and then all of a sudden you're like oh fuck i can actually make this shit and then it's cool or, oh i can play with like the, the flavor of it or i can add this seasoning to the it. old snowball it man a little different and, you know what I mean? It can become like a cool thing yeah, that people can just start slowly so that way it's not overwhelming at first and hard to keep up with. Because I mean, exactly. when one thing is overwhelming yeah. and demanding, it's hard to keep up with. People are going to quit. Oh, right. yeah. yeah. Yeah, you go simple. Always mm -hmm. just keep it simple. You know what I mean? Fuck. God damn it. The KISS method. What the fuck? Right. I was about to say, I was like, I said, somebody going to hit that acronym. You know, keep, I feel like, yo, know, you know, even, even, even on a molecular level, simple things are the strongest. Like, look at, look at an oxygen bond. Guys, I feel like you're being satirical. He just said, "Keep it simple," and you just went to science. <laughs> yeah, oh, you get it. You get it. Okay, yeah. cool, cool, cool. Real. You get it. You get oh, it. So you get real. it. I feel like I feel like a troll. You done messed up, man. Keep it real. Simple. He just went to like violence and like breakdowns. 
Keep it si- um, see, but if you really <laughs> break down the protons and electrons, <laughs> and make us together, come together in a symmetrical. Oh my God! It's cohesive bonding is what I'm getting at here. It's all relative. You understand? You get it. You get what I'm saying. It's some simple shit, right? Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A third grader can understand what I'm saying. Just last I mean, week. Yeah, like, yeah, it's all yeah, time like, and light refraction. Come on now. I, I, Catch up. I, yo, I used to, I used to, what, what is it? Are you smarter than the fifth grader? I used to hate that show because I'm looking like, <laughs> I'm like, I'm motherfucker. Like an idiot. Wait, wait, yes. Out of high school, I felt like an idiot. I'm like, wait, I just went over this like mm-hmm. eight, six years ago. Hold on. No, but I mean, see, that falls underneath those questions that you just, there's certain times where you just don't want the answer to them. So am I smarter than the fifth grader? I really don't want to know the answer to that question. So I'm not going to ask. <laughs> Let's just agree to For disagree. my luck, they right. put me up against some smug little fucking teacher's pet. You know what I mean? That you just want to slap the little yeah. asshole He's every time you apples. fuck up and he looks up at you like, I know this one. Like, I'm going to uh, tell. <laughs> He's playing the crowd. This yeah, he's fuck. acting all. I, tell you, I can imagine. Look, I can imagine <laughs> when they go to the commercial. To the commercial, the kid be like, "You are dumb as fuck, man." You're so stupid. Oh my god! You know that? Stop. It was twelve. Yeah, childhood. Games. Speaking of game shows, remember as a kid, you watching that shit and just being jealous as a motherfucker. You seen some of these kids like playing some of this shit? Like, how do how the fuck did he get in that game? You talking about Nickelodeon? Fuck? Yes. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. All day. All yeah. Fucking like day. I would have owned that shit. You know, exactly. every kid was thinking Play that shit. Computer. Man, if I would have been on there, man, I would have. Man, I would have yeah. told they ass how to. Hey, damn. How you and then you see that? them fuck up, and you're like, yeah. "What are you doing? What you're the so fuck?" <laughs> A lot of reality shows are all scripted, dude. I can tell you that just yeah, directly. All of them I, are. At one point, was uh, we had a pilot that we were, uh, you know, pitching to various networks, or at least we had uh, a producer pitching it to various networks. So, you know, everywhere from Discovery, it was going to be more or less. I wanted it to be about haunted house based stuff because that was something I, I had a, a hand in for many years. By the time the show, what we had in mind, what was initially developed and what it was supposed to be about was twisted into this just basically focal point on one haunted house, which we wanted it to be more of a of, of on, on a focal point on a couple different places or at least like two or three different locations. Um, and they wanted and then also, you know, there was a team of guys and they, they've been together for a long time. They wanted to try to bring in a, a female, obviously, to into this dynamic and then, you know, have them, you know, doing shtick behind the scenes and stuff like that. Well, all this stuff was going on and obviously it flopped and nobody picked it up. It got yeah. it got twisted into this. What the fuck they think what was going to work and what was going to sell and what of people want to see initial fucking thing, which would have sold big vision like we and unfortunately we came up we with couldn't it. put our hands into it enough or to actually change it and unfortunately unfortunately they just wanted to go with that generic ass almost pawn stars sort of uh i think take on reality wow. yeah <clears throat> that's all like reality is it's all reality tv is man if the producers if, i mean trust me there's not enough stuff that goes on and in reality if, if uh, what they're following around with a camera so for the producers basically will inject some sort of situation tell somebody to do something or some you know in, in this spot or that and basically yeah. to to stir up we some need shit moments we need to yeah, moment we for need the, these uh, moments for the we need these act. moments otherwise do it don't sell yeah, it wasn't even like that i'm like that would have been a good people story are, are, are being pushed into the the mentality of going independent whether it be in in the essence of music or or fucking you know video or cre- you know and, and any all those creative facets people would rather go independently because they would rather be able to just do what they want and not have that, you know, the, 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 these assholes above you trying to tell you how and control every little ass, essence of what you do. And they will, and they manipulate it because, well, I mean, it's better for, for the public this way. Like, no, 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 no. You get it raw or, or for what it's worth or, or don't bother. That's the way I see it nowadays. No, that's true. Yeah. That's true. Authenticity. That way. Nobody wants to watch Jerry Springer after they find out that that shit was scripted, right? You can clearly see the difference between Jerry Springer Raw and the first Jerry Springer that came out. The first Jerry Springer that came out was like fucking Salajah Sir Raphael and you know, shit like that. And I'm just using old ass examples like that because I remember that shit when I was a kid. Y'all remember that movie Ringleader? Mm. Ringleader? Oh, oh man, that was about, a mo- about, about Jerry Springer? Yeah. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Yeah, I remember what you're talking about now. Yeah. So like that, like like, like documentary like, of on Jerry Springer. Well, it was more so like a movie about about Jerry Springer Raw. 
about like oh this is you know what i'm saying Unpacked. basically saying hey yeah you know this is how we get our contestants to come on this is this and this is that and blah blah blah, blah, blah. you know what i'm saying to say oh well we mix in a couple of real contestants with the fake ones but it's like no like the, the the show is just as fake as this fucking movie. I mean, it, unfortunately, everybody's seen what it's expect. Like, in, I, I mean, I've been a, a big fan of, of you know comedy and just following you know it's m many comedians over the years, and then just hearing their stories and stuff like that, and just some of the bullshit that they go through. And it, yeah, it's the best thing you can do is just do you do your own thing. Do it on your own. Always. Otherwise, man, yeah, they just they try to wow. manipulate and form and form fit you into what they want. It's always going to be the case. Or you know, we have well, we like your look, but we think if you adjust it with this and this, it'll be much better received. And they're out of touch. And that's Hollywood for you. They're out of touch. Prime example. Yeah, look at the say, fucking Oscar shit. I mean, I'm not yeah. trying to go all deep into the that. world. The world looks different than I was going to say. It doesn't even look the same. Is it even the same shade of blue? You know what I mean? <laughs> Man, that, yeah, well, I mean, while we're, we're on the subject of the Oscar shit, I like, um, what do y'all think that shit was real? Yeah. Definitely helped the Oscars, right? Well, since they didn't help them, definitely helped the numbers. Oh, yes. it clicks and Hell yeah, it helped the numbers. It helped, but it hurt them at the same time. And it, it, the spectacle was more or less, it was viral. It was viral oh, attention. Sure. Donald Trump was the president. Um, we'll be watching it. Any that, any that any publicity year. is good publicity. <laughs> the next year, I, people only gonna be watching, hoping for some other shit. It ain't gonna happen, and then the numbers die again. Yeah, oh, yeah, but sure. but it's cool. But look, the Academy has a they have a um they have a deliverable to give to Bro. their no, constituents no, here, here, now. Watch it. I'm gonna they predict it now. That right? goes down in history. I'm gonna they predict it now. <laughs> Maybe we'll see. We'll see. Maybe it doesn't happen. May because may, it could be in bad taste. But maybe they next year they do some sort of joke, cringy ass joke revolved around it. Either some they're going thing. to they'll reenact it somehow yes. or do some oh sort of my thing. God. It'll be yes. cringy as fucking. It won't work. But they'll you try remember it. what they'll happened? Like last had year. the you know had that whole fucking thing. Yeah, because we gotta. Mm -hmm. We gotta like respond to that shit. We you you're expecting it, so you gotta do something. Yeah, they, they, we all know you're thinking about it. <laughs> okay, they're so gonna get, just, they gonna go get the same now. producer from right, Iron James. Chef, bro. Last it's gonna year, be the same producer. Year, okay. Watch all that's the music, cute. the lights, all of it. To do that. Hmm? Yeah. We need right. ideas. Somebody's gonna come up. All right, over to the table of the grumpy old fucks. You know what I mean? To see how they don't re ever react to shit. Okay, back to the fucking hey, the hey. host again. They they they, <laughs> okay, they react to laughing. green. We're all laughing. We're having fun here. They react <laughs> to green. They that's what it is. It's like, hey, did, did our numbers go up? Uh, right. Well, how about we have Tupac give the message and Betty White can come up and slap him? Oh, I love it, Tim. Oh, such a good idea. This is such a good idea. I don't Let's know why go. they always sound like that. And then we'll have a big talking girl that just. You know, when that voice comes to mind, I just think of boomers. Just out of touch fucking boomers, basically. Yeah, really, yeah, yeah. Really what, yeah. what it boils down to me. I mean, I mean look, look, listen here, Buster. Right? You listen here. Ah, <laughs> yes. You don't understand what it's like. I don't, I right. don't really. Hey, hey, you know, you know, you know what their voice was though. Like when they were You're stepping out of line, when, young when, man. When they you were around our stop. age. Their voice was the Roaring Twenties. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know. Hey there, buddy. Sorry. We're gonna come over here. Sorry. We're gonna put our hat on. Uh. You know, it's it, look. I don't give a fuck what anybody says, but the whole boomer logic thing is such a fucking joke. Is you get these assholes who are like, I worked for everything. You know, when I handed over the company from my father who built this from his hands. You know, when he started way back mm -hmm. in the 1900s. You know, and now I've converted into this corporate structure where there's really no humanity left into it besides basically just just shoveling money into my pockets while I have a shit ton of people under me that are getting paid a shit ton less to do a shit ton more. Mm -hmm. There's your I fucking break myself. Yeah, I I build all this though, you know. And go, look, dude, it's hard. You look, you just gotta you just put your nose down and just just get right into you it, just buddy. It. Pull your boots. Yeah, you know, if you're unemployed, you know? just go find a job. You know, it's oh, just that easy. You just did, go find a job. I did this with a small loan. Just get out there and, and a million you know, dollars. Now we're looking to them for as our spokesperson, and even if they live, uh, say a struggling life, like Whippy Goldberg, she was on food stamps. Uh, Samuel Jackson was homeless at a point. Mm -hmm. Um, uh, Tyler Perry was homeless at a point. People seem to uh, not understand that these people are the exception to the obvious rule, guys. Mm -hmm. Like they rose above a struggle, but there's still a million of other people that are in that same struggle. And they, if they didn't mm -hmm. come out of it, why didn't they? 
Yeah, you're right. What what do these people? What are their qualifications to speak for me? They they are not in touch with me any more than I am in touch with the president. You know, it's just it's not how it works in reality. Yeah. That's, right. that's where I always boil down. And, and, yeah, when's and, the last time that yeah. you struggled to make a fucking car payment? Well, when was the last time that you really? had the debate, you know, where to divvy up? Do I get this food or do I get this cheap ass food? Because, I mean, I want yeah. it nice, but, you know, I mean, I can really only afford the. When have you really had, what, yeah. over 30, 40 years ago? Right. There's no raid that I'm going to pay somebody to go pump my gas. In Oregon, you yeah. can't pump your own gas. You have to let them pump it for you. In Jer I think that's the case in Jersey, too. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah I can tell you why they did it in Jersey. Fucking... Because people are dumb. Well, no, not because... <laughs> they tried to do that for Jersey. It was some type of accident. Um, no, no, no. It was more so... It's more I agree so, with that. It was I agree with that. It was to, stim it it was to right. stimulate their economy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, some asshole, before we close it out, I don't know if we did or not, but some assholes keep telling me I'm almost free. I don't know what the fuck that's about because I just hit 36 yesterday. Like, why Why does that mean almost 40? Like, this is how I look at it. At least now, this is how I look at it. This is how I looked at it last, at least the February, when, when it passed. I was just like, huh, I'm 32, and I'm not quite where I want to be yet. And that's all. That's, yeah. that, that's the only thing I could think about. I'm 32, 32? and I'm not quite where that's, I want to be. Yet. That's a big part of 30s, Rock. Rock. That, that that's growing. a big part of part of 30. So that definitely needs to be a, a, a maybe a segment or something that was a topic to what be. What the fuck am I doing thing. with my life? Yo. Exactly. Yo. Damn it, I'm 30. Oh, I was man. supposed to be retiring at 30 and shit. Yo, no, that's not the view to have, man. It's got to be yeah. the. I get to do these things, you know? I get to be happy with where I'm at Wait. right now. That's the conclusion, you know what I'm saying? Like, that is the conclusion. Like, yeah, yeah we, we got here, we thought it was gonna be one thing, and now that we've got here, it's like, oh shit, I was, you know, 30 is getting old, and then you talk to a 50-year-old, like, and he tells you, like, yo, dude, I'm a young man. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, I was not just scared, but I'm gonna make the best out of it, cause damn, man, what you gonna yeah. do? Again, I'm, pro I'm approaching 32, so I'd be, I guess, uh, right along rock here, so. Casper. Mr. Cass. Yep. Right. <clears throat> Luckily, I yeah, just turned 38. I don't feel it. I don't look it. So is this the podcast, guys? That's all for 30 Rocks Podcast. If you laughed at least once, consider subscribing and hitting that like button. Hey, we'll see y'all next week.